what do I want to do? You know what? I'm going to do little big lies. Big little lie. I don't know. You know it. Ah, uh, uh, oh, really? Every episode is... Woo! Wait, is this the first episode? Okay, no, this ain't the first episode. Ooh, 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 I'm a nut, you know. Okay, so driving to school, ocean, sea turtles, and a gun. Madeline talking to her daughter about, you know, the bigness and vastness of the ocean. Meanwhile, Shailene's kid is giving her shit about going back to that preppy ass school. Ziggy asking why did they move there, and I want to know too. You ain't got no house on the ocean. <laughs> oh my God, Madeline tried to cuss somebody out and she said, you can go fuck yourself on the head. What? <laughs> That's not an insult. Meanwhile, Nikki Kidman and Alexander Sarsgaard talking about going to another counselor when he get back from out of town. Okay, Alexander thought it was uh, orientation and she like, no, nah, we just drop them off and they go. And you could tell he real perturbed. He snatches the kids' iPads. Yeah, he got to go. Okay, so Renata going to have a party and invite everybody but that little kid. Now, Madeline and uh, Nikki Kidman is at yoga, and they see Zoe Kravitz there. And they like, now this heifer got her own yoga studio. What you doing, her? So Zoe says to her, I'm going to take my name off the petition, but Madeline already like a dog with a bone. They passing around a plush toy so that all these kids can get their germs on it. And then they're going to have it at kids' houses? Uh-uh, honey. That's nasty. Oh, God. Sarsgaard is a real nut. He telling her, girl, you wanted that moment all to yourself. I changed my flight. Oh, Lord. He slapped her and she slapped him right back. Okay, now they having sex. Cha, I can't. This is not healthy. So the invite shit has hit the fan. I got to say, I'm enjoying this. God, these scenes with that daughter just reading the mama. <laughs> she said, girl, are you through? Or now is the time to pile on Bonnie? Because I figured that should be right about now. Now we got Adam Scott going in on uh, Madeline. Because he like, look, I I'm sick of you whining over Nathan. Do I need to get on? Oh, shit, 15 years later. Hold on, wait, wait. Uh -uh, uh -oh, oh, oh, oh. That doesn't make sense. Because that little girl is like, Young. He said, I ain't gonna be nobody's runner up. You better tell him, girl. Shailene Woodley is still out looking for work. So Celeste and Madeline is out having drinks, and uh, Celeste is telling her her and her husband be fighting and fucking, but she leaves out the fisticuffs. And then in walks Rafakanata. Rafakanata. Okay, so Renata invite them to some little charity gala, but Madeline about to get with her ass. Yup, Madeline said, look, if Ziggy don't go, then Chloe ain't going. Nyeh. Ooh, Renata said, do not fuck with my daughter's birthday. Oh, Lord. So Madeline discovers that her eldest has birth control. And like a mama, she want to know not just when you got it, but how you got it. And of course... Zoe Kravitz took her ass to a Planned Parenthood in Seaside. Okay, Ma Madeline kept it cute. She kept it cute, but it was it was a, it was an appropriate read. And Zoe was like, I, she had the face that I kind of got this coming. Yeah, you don't be giving other people's children medications and doctor's appointments. You, yeah, like she said, you kick that little can of worms on over to me. Okay, okay. <laughs> Okay, so let's give uh, Madeline some good advice. She like, look, just let it go with Bonnie and Abigail ride it out. This heifer gonna say, no, I love my grudges. I tend to them like little pets. Okay, now we got Ed and Nathan getting together for a little tete a tete. So now they getting into it. Adam Scott trying to tell um, the ex-husband, look, Maddie going through shit. 
she's still mad about 15 years ago. So the ex-husband said, look, I don't think you want to go there threatening me. Adam Scott had a whole little story about he ready to jump bad at a moment's notice. He said, I missed my opportunity once, honey, but I've been just doing a bird man hand rub, waiting for that shit to come around yet again, yet again. So this heifer's still trying to get Avenue Q in production. Now she got somebody going to talk to the damn mayor. Oh, God. Madeline gonna take the kids to Disney on fucking ice. The ice capades, as we used to say in my day. So that way, no one's going to go to Renata's daughter's tired party. I tell you, that Madeline is one fucking headache. I wouldn't want to mess with her. I wouldn't want to have to deal with all that. I'm living my best life. Ain't going back or forth. <laughs> I said thank you! Oh my god! And then Shailene screaming into the ocean. Okay, I can't do this dance with me no Limburger. All right, now now what's this kid doing? Ziggy doing something. Please don't strangle this little girl. Oh god, Ziggy kissed Annabella. Renata talking about getting attorneys. It's just everybody's kids is involved. Basically they like, look, your two girls put him up to it to try to make up with her. This is some you you shit. Okay, uh, Nikki Kidman and, and what's his name is having a little uh, Skype sex session. Renata husband like, girl, don't nobody need to go to court over this. Come on now. Okay, I guess since uh, Adam threatened to whoop her ex-husband's ass, she gonna give him some puss. Go ahead, girl. Fuck your man. Okay, more uh, sex with Sarsgaard and Nikki Kidman. I need to see you freaking your puss, girl. And that was the episode. Girl, she was moaning, rolling, moaning on that mattress. <laughs> Let's get to the next episode. This shit good. This shit good. I could fuck around and binge watch this. We only got a couple more episodes. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And just give you the complete anthology. I'm just fast forwarding through the opening shit now. See, now, Renata, if you was so damn smart... You just say, we're moving the party to Disney on ice. And buy up a book of good seats. Oh, God. Okay, this fight with Alexander Sarsgaard, rinse and repeat shit. Why didn't we discuss this? I can't. I, I can't. I, I, oh, Lord. Oh, God. Now he choking her. This is a lot. So she said, look, no more of this choking shit. I'm out if you pull it. One more again, honey. You got one more again. Later that night, Renata calls Madeline. Renata caves. She invites Ziggy and Chloe. Ooh, girl. She's like, I'll take their asses to Disneyland. All expense paid. Sleepover. Wow. Ooh. Renata, you, you may be the career mommy, but you don't know how to fuck with a full-time mommy. They get your ass. They get your ass. Oh, Lord. <laughs> so Madeline is like, nope, nope, nope. I'm pissed and you're perturbed. And Renata says, you're dead in this fucking town and so is your fucking puppet show. And throws the phone into the pool. <laughs> Renata gonna give herself a stroke. <laughs> So now we've got the party versus the trip. The party's going well. The trip, not so much. Oh, Lord. Now Shailene and lost Harry the hippo. That's why you shouldn't be, oh, you can take it home for the weekend. Mm -mm. Oh, God. So rehearsals for Avenue Q is going on. I honestly think that might be a little too mature for fucking elementary school students. Uh, and she's trying to get the money together. The producer's saying, no, we gonna alienate the city council forever. Oh my God, it's because I care. Ooh, I mean, this is peak busybody. I mean, just a busybody. Girl, this is what happens if Elle Wood didn't go to law school. She'd end up like this. That's, this is a fascinating tale. <laughs> oh my God. The daughter had a point. Madeline is on one. 
Is it okay if I call you Madeline? As opposed to what, Arthur? The daughter then got the mama in with the guidance counselor and she telling the mama, I feel like you're grooming me to get to a place you couldn't get. You want to be Renata. Oh my God, and she want to go live with the pappy. Okay, so now Alex is giving her some jury. This is not healthy, and diamonds don't heal bruises. Oh, he said he gonna get better. No, he not. Oh my God. Renata want to send Annabelle to therapy, and the father's like, child, she's sick. She had a good time. She gonna be all right. Oh, Lord. Renata is a fucking piece of work, too. Okay, so she whined about being spontaneous, and he like, come on, let's have sex right here, right now. <laughs> she said, I'm a little too loud for the office, and then he said bathroom, and she was like, all right. Okay, now we got uh, the therapy session with Sarsgaard and Nikki Kidman. So Nikki talking to the therapist about volatility and emotional, and the therapist is like, okay, look, cut the shit, y'all, y'all hitting each other. He beating on you. And she said, no, 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 it's just verbal. Just verbal. Verbal. Child, he giving us some bullshit talking about he afraid of losing her. Then you wouldn't be going oops upside the head. So now we get into the physicality of the relationship. You know, he fesses up to grabbing her when he said, well, she did threaten to leave me. The therapist is like, I don't want him getting on me. I'm going to be real cautious. Oh, God, they in the bathroom, and she's screaming like hell. Shit's just falling. <laughs> Child, they ain't been fucking in a minute. All right, we've got a gala, Elvis and Audrey night, Renata coming in, adjusting her panties. Oh, my God! <laughs> okay, so now we are uh, at the end of the meeting. Nathan and Zoe run into Ed and Madeline and... And Nathan talks to Madeline about, you know, the daughter moving in. And she's like, well, shit, I ain't gonna make a fuss about it. And so then she turns around and Bonnie's like, I will never try to be her mother. And then she hugs her. And Madeline is like, if this woman don't get off me. <laughs> Ziggy got a home run at T-ball. Actually, with them uncoordinated children, that would be pretty easy. Okay, so now, uh... Ziggy got to do a family tree, and of course, here comes Madeline to save the day. So, Ziggy wants to know his father's name for the tree, and we ain't really heard much about him, and now she won't even give him his name. So, we find out that Ziggy is the result of a sexual assault. I'm surprised. Aw, Madeline breaking down. Yeah, that's a horrible story. What the hell? Oh, my God. Shailene just had a dream that somebody was busting in her house. All right, so Nikki and Alex is dancing together. He just want to hold her ass. Ooh, I, I can't deal with the crazy. Oh, God, all this hippy-dippy-ass music. Okay, now Shailene's sleeping with the gun under a pillar. All right, and that was the episode. So I'm going to see you soon for the next one.